Now, the American dream has always been a cultural a phenomenon associated with the United States of America, the land of the free, where you can supposedly achieve your heart's greatest desires. But is it all that easy for someone coming from Africa to access this potential on American soil? Joining me today uh, from our city center studios is Daniel Ryan, who is the managing director for emerging markets in Africa from Atlantic America Partners. And uh, of course, they aim to make make this dream a reality. Well, welcome, Daniel. Thank you for joining us. I'll begin by asking you to just, uh, you know, give us a bit of a brief uh, background as to what exactly Atlantic America Partners does. How do you, uh, you know, put Africans into the position where they can then get a green card? Well, thank you very much for having me today. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, Atlantic American Partners is part of a, a private equity investment group that's been in business for 45 years in America, and we've handled over $40 billion worth of transactions during a 45-year time period. And roughly about 10 years ago, we got involved in what's called the EB-5 Foreign Investor Visa Program, which was a law implemented and approved by George Herbert Walker Bush, who, as you may or may not know, just passed away. He was our 41st president of the United States. He put in law 28 years ago this EB-5 visa program to encourage foreign investment to come to America to create jobs. And it was a, an idea at the time the American economy was not doing very well, so it was a way to bring foreign capital to America, and part of the motivation was to create jobs through job creation programs, and the investor, in return, would receive a green card if each investor could show through a program that 10 jobs were created. So we got involved in this program 10 years ago. We've done successfully, we're now on our 29th project, we have a 100% success rate. We've helped over 550 families with their immigration approval process and relocation to the United States. And it goes through phases. You have a temporary green card that you receive in two years and a permanent green card that you receive three years thereafter. And after that, you can apply for citizenship. But our firm has a 100% track record, and uh, we have a group of people back in Tampa, Florida that are all professionals and uh, high integrity. Talk about investments that are supposed to spur this entire process. Um, you know, I have seen that uh, you say a $500,000 investment that creates 10 jobs for American workers could get you a green card in about two years and be a U.S. citizen in about six or seven years. So what kind of investments then uh, does this money spur? Where exactly is this money invested? In what kind of institutions within, the, uh, within America? That's a great question. Our firm is, uh, our firm are a group of experts in commercial real estate investment, and that's what we invest this money in. And one of the reasons we do that is because new commercial real estate activity creates a lot of jobs. And as, just like here in Nairobi, you have a lot of buildings being built and a lot of jobs being created. So our emphasis in our program is new what we call trophy real estate properties, which are the high-end real estate, such as luxury re residential apartments, hotels, student housing, things like that, that, that have a high chance of succeeding and appreciating and in, in, in value. And each one of those types of projects in America right now, with our economy growing at a, a strong rate, it's booming, it's at its best GDP growth rate in roughly 50 years, and our unemployment rate is at its lowest point at about 2.9%. So we focus specifically on building and constructing new high-rise trophy-type real estate development projects. 
Okay, and even as you as you talk about the GDP and the unemployment rates, I do know that President Trump specifically does like to touch on this whenever he does, uh, you know, address the public when it comes to the prosperity uh, that the United States economy is seeing right now. But just this week, he did tweet saying that the country loses two hundred and fifty billion dollars a year on illegal immigration and uh, illegal here being, of course, key. But he was called out for this as being inaccurate. So his immigration policies have been much um, controversial, for lack of a better word, and they have been, of course, highly debated. But when it comes to attracting such high net worth individuals from Africa, of course, you know, investing uh, $500,000 is close to 50 to 51 million Kenya shillings. That's a big, big amount. So when, you, when it comes to then such individuals wanting to invest in America and then uh, finally moving there, do you think that um, in such a climate they still do experience uh, challenges? Well, uh, let me just point out a couple of things. One is the economy in America is doing quite well. And secondly, uh, what, what the president in America has really been talking a lot about is the illegal immigration. Our program is legal immigration, and the entire country and the administration of our government supports this program 100%. So we're talking legal immigration. And America's built on immigrants. We want immigrants. I'm an immigrant. Most people that live in America are immigrants. So there's a big difference between illegal immigration and legal immigration. And our program is legal immigration. And therefore, we have a lot of people interested. And we were recently in South Africa, for example, and we had targeted 100 people to meet with, and we ended up meeting with 450. Here in, in Kenya, we are targeting about 100 people, and it looks like we will probably end up talking to 200 people. Now, now your question about high net worth, how many people can afford $500,000? And that's a question that you know, we realize that is a limited percentage of your population, but it's surprising, There's, there is a great amount of wealth being built all throughout Africa that is a little quieter than most people know. And as I mentioned to you earlier, I personally lived in Malawi, Africa for 12 years in Lilongwe. And I know what it's like to live in Africa. And I've seen some people that have created wealth through various businesses. And even in a poor country like Malawi, there are people that can afford $500,000. So I strongly believe in a country such as Kenya, which you are so far more advanced than Malawi, there are many more people that can afford 500000 And let me make one point clear. This $500,000 investment is returned to the investor at the end of the six years. It's not a one-time payment. It's a returnable investment. And that's what a lot of people we talk to, when they hear that, it's essentially putting money in a bank account for five or six years, and two years into it, you get a green card, you can move to America. Three year, four years later, you get a permanent green card, and then you get your $500,000 principal investment returned. So it's basically a safe, secure investment, and you get a green card to move you your wife or husband, and any family member 21 years and under that is not married. So we recently had a Hungarian family that we signed up. They had five children. So seven people were the application for $500,000. And by the way, we've helped people from 28 Daniel, different Daniel, sorry, countries. I'll have to cut you short because of uh, our limited time. But thank you for your insights. And yes, of course, President Trump was talking about illegal immigration, as I said, was key in what I was mentioning. And yours is legal, as we were still talking about the challenges either way with regards to his immigration policies. But uh, thank you so much for shedding light on that particular situation. That was Daniel Ryan, Managing Director for Emerging Markets Africa, joining us from Atlantic American Partners.